Right, here we are with the Quest X5 test run. We are now going to go through the settings. It's all fitted together. It, it has a light at the bottom there that you, which can shine directly onto the search head to pinpoint the accuracy of the uh, target. But let's switch it on. It's four buttons. Pinpoint there. Let's turn it on. Off it goes on and sensitivity bar up here which goes up to the top in numbers that's a high back it off if it's too noisy and we have then the depth of target there so to move on the different programs all you do is press the power button you can see that power button and you move it on and we have uh, three modes we've got the ring gold ring jewelry mode am for all metal and coin mode we're set at the coin mode at the moment which is fine so we're gonna, now going to give it a try and see and see how sensitive the machine is the speed recovery is automatic set at a certain pace which is fine I am a piece of iron. That's saying it's a big target. I'm at 68, but still making a gl glitchy type noise. So here we are with the target. It's going from 80, 73 to 85. Not quite sure what this is. Let's find it. Let's pinpoint it. Pinpoint it. I think that scratching noise, I don't think that's a good target, but let's just see. I would suggest that could be iron, but I'm wrong, because I've just, I've just picked, literally picked the machine up. So it's all new to me, I'm not sure what I'm digging. Right, here we are. We've got it out. Okay, so that is a piece of that's why we're making that racket, so it's a, a washer, but iron washer. Not what we want really. I have put it on high sensitivity and it seems to be reasonably stable. Um so let's just see how we go with it. Right, what I have found out about the machine is that with the different tones, I'm finding the iron tones are quite decent targets where the mid tones yeah, a reasonable low end stuff, but then obviously it goes down to a, a deep tone, and that generally seems to be rubbish, so we'll see. Oh, now then. Don't know what that is, but don't, that's, that doesn't sound too bad. Let's pinpoint it. There we go, right. Sounds like a good signal, this. Still, it's a reasonable signal. Uh, this is a reflector off a tractor. If you can just see that. So we're giving such a good turn. So we've got 80 here. That sounds like a coin. It's a good, it's a good 881. Yeah, that's, that sounds good. That sounds like a coin, that. Let's have a look. Hmm, that's not good. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh. What was it then? A big piece of crud. Look at that. Oh. Tin of some kind. Fairly deep on this. Look at that. Under 60 pound machine, can't go wrong, it's quite deep, isn't it? Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, it's in the another piece of lead. Big piece of lead. That look at that. Button, 17th century button. That's foil, that noise. 50, 55, 68, 70. Nice signal. I think we'll dig that. So, on auto like 60, that's a ring pull. We should normally we'll dig, but it's a ring pull. So, obviously, I think we've got to dig 60s with this machine. So, we've got a Copper pipe, 91. One copper pipe, 91. Oh, good. So here we are with a penny, which gives 78 to about 80, generally. Uh, there we go, Georgia 5th, round about probably 1928, I'd say to be precise and the depth were at least 10 inches, which is quite good for this X5.